Hello everyone! It's another day at Graves Library, which means it's another story time. I am Miss Isabel, you are you, and I'm very happy that you're here with me. Of course, our story time this week is about something in the ocean, because it's summer and our summer theme is Oceans of Possibilities. So our story this week is called Old Shell, New Shell, A Coral Reef Tale. Looks pretty exciting to me. But before we get to that, of course I have a song for you. That's what we do at story time. So you might know a song called I'm a Little Teapot. Well, this song is I'm a Little Fishy. Because of course, fish swim in the sea. So what we're going to do with our hands today for this song is make them into a fish. So just hold them. Hold your hand like this, and you can make it swim. Any direction you like, swim all over the place. And we're gonna point out that this is our fish tail at the end of our fish, helps it swim, and your thumb is your fish fin, which is on top of the fish and also helps it swim. <laughs> fish are built for swimming. So hopefully you know the tune to I'm a Little Teapot, but if you don't, you'll catch on pretty quick. All right, I'm a little fishy. I'm a little fishy, I can swim. Here is my tail, here is my fin. When I want to have fun with my friends, I wiggle my tail and dive right in. And that's what fish do, they wiggle their tail and dive into the water. Why don't we try that one again, a little bit faster, now that you know what's what. All right, here we go. I'm a little fishy, I can swim. Here is my tail, here is my fin. When I want to have fun with my friends, I wiggle my tail and dive right in. Great job, everyone. I guess that's how fish have fun with their friends. Maybe think about how you have fun with your friends and how maybe it's a little different from fish. But we all like to swim. <laughs> all right, let's get on to our story. This week's story is called, as I said before, Old Shell, New Shell, A Coral Reef Tale. And it's written by Helen Ward. And the back says, Hermit Crab Needs a New Shell. Sort of like this shell, he says to a passing line of spiny lobsters, but bigger. The trouble is, he just can't find what he's looking for. Let's find out if maybe he does find what he's looking for. Old shell, new shell. And our publisher for this week is the Millbook Press. Old Shell, New Shell by Helen Ward. Lots of shells around here. In the watery gardens where the sea anemones flowered and fish as bright as butterflies sailed among the coral, there lived a... These fish are bright as butterflies, and they kind of fly around like butterflies, too. There lived a hermit crab. He was very small, but he had been smaller, and the shell he owned and loved was getting tight. Just like us growing out of our clothes. <laughs> Sometimes they get too tight, and we have to get a bigger size. And there's our hermit crab friend. He was very fond of his old shell. He wanted a new one just like it, only larger. There's a big fish checking out our hermit crab friend. You see any other sea creatures on this page? I see a fish hidden in here. Two fish, actually. There's lots of creatures underwater. 
I need a shell of this color, he said to a line of passing puffer fish, but they had not seen a shell that color. And in any case, they were busy. There go the puffer fish. Not really interested in hermit crab. With some of these, he said to an angelfish who really couldn't be bothered. That big stripey thing is the angelfish. He doesn't really care what hermit crab wants on his shell. And one of those, he said to a clownfish who had not seen a shell with one of those for years. Hermit crab is talking about all the decorations he wants. And you might recognize the clownfish. Sort of like this shell, he said to a passing line of spiny lobsters, but bigger. There go the lobsters. Suddenly, the seabed turned upside down and knocked the hermit crab clean out of his shell. Looks like a big fish was hiding under the sand and decided it was time to go. The hermit crab tumbled down into a shell that was much too big too dull, too heavy, and too dark. But look at all the creatures around him. Lots to look at. He did not want to be eaten. So he crept into the back of the shell to be miserable and went to sleep. More interesting sea creatures on this page. This looks like an eel down here. And this crazy looking thing is called a nautilus. And there's the hermit crab hiding in the shell. He was awakened by being squashed. Something else was trying to get inside the big shell, so he gave the intruder a nip. He bit it. It was another hermit crab looking for a home. There's a bigger hermit crab. She had grown too big for her old shell, but this one would suit her very well. And as for her old shell, it was just the right size and just the right shape and had all the right pieces in all the right places. And there's a new shell for the hermit crab on this very wide page. Lots to see. And that's the happy end of old shell, new shell. All the hermit crabs who needed a shell got a shell. And there's interesting information in the back about where the hermit crabs live. And these hermit crabs live on coral reefs. We don't really have those near us in Maine, but we do have hermit crabs on our beaches, I think. And we do have spiny lobsters, just like they were talking about. So there are similarities. And there's lots of fun facts all throughout the back of the book telling you about each of the sea creatures 
and what they look like and where they live. That was a great story, Old Shell, New Shell by Helen Ward. And I love that hermit crabs grow out of their shells and then search for new ones and they help each other find them. I think that's great. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for coming to Storytime with me. And I can't wait to see you again. See ya.